Hello everyone, and welcome to the new video. Today I want to show you how to get the most out of your computer to achieve the best possible graphics in Euro Truck Simulator VR. So let's get started. Right now, we are in MetaQuest Link app. Like you all know, here is the place where we can adjust our Quest 3 resolution. We all want the best looking image in VR, so we usually set our Quest resolution to its max. Personally, for Euro Truck Simulator, I pick 80 Hz option, and later in Oculus Debug Tool, I set this option to force 45 FPS, so I get half frame rates of 80 in game, which is 40, of course. But, setting max possible resolution, is that really right way to do? Well, maybe in some games, but not in Euro Truck Simulator. Let's go in game now. And here we are. For image quality in ETS Virtual Reality, the most important thing is scaling. Let's see how my game looks and performs with 125% scaling. Like you can see, the game performs well above 40 FPS, which is good, but image quality could be better. So to get better image quality, I will set scaling to 200%. Now as you can see, image quality is better in my VR, but game performs under 40 frame rates, which gives me a lot of stuttering. So, what you want to do is to find a good balance between your Oculus Quest resolution and in-game scaling. What we want to achieve is that game performs very close to 40 FPS mark. So in that way, you will know that you squeeze the most from your PC to get good looking image and stable frame rates. Now with lowered resolution in our Quest 3, I can set higher scaling, 200% to be more precise. As you can see, the image quality is very good and game performs a little bit above 40 frame rates. But when we open Oculus Debug Tool and we turn on this option here, force 45 FPS. So when we turn back in the game, we get good performing game with stable 40 FPS and very good image quality. You can even try to lower mention 40 FPS border to 36 FPS, so you can get even a little bit better image quality for cost of frame rates. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it can help you at least a little bit. Unfortunately, we all know that, and very powerful PC is not good enough for VR in this game because of CPU usage limitations caused due to game's old engine. Write down in comments, how do you like this game in VR? Is it better for you than flat screen, or it still needs some upgrades? See you in another video.